Welcome to the Not All Better Show. I'm Paul Vogelzang, and this is episode number 282. Hi, this is Paul Vogelzang, host of the Not All Better Show. You've got the right place and the right program. And today's show is in conjunction with my ongoing work with Mary Furlong and Associates. Along with Mary Furlong, I attended the It's Never Too Late Startup Business Pitch Competition at AARP, the American Association of Retired Persons Innovation Labs in Washington, D.C. recently. This was a unique event, an event that features the leading edge startups from across the country. The startups pitch their ideas that will shape the future of how we all age regarding health, wealth, and self solutions. The AARP Innovation Labs are committed to engaging the best and the brightest startups to identify challenges and solve big issues that impact us all as we age. Of course, the innovation part of the name Innovation Labs has a long history at AARP. AARP was built on innovation and has always worked toward developing solutions that create opportunity and solve problems for people 55 plus in age. It's part of the DNA at AARP. Additionally, AARP has long recognized the longevity economy, the economic opportunity that America's older population represents. And AARP has actively encouraged product developers and marketers to respond to this longevity economy with solutions focused on interest and needs of people age 55 plus. While at the event, I spoke to all the participants. And in today's episode and interview, we're speaking with David Cohen, CEO of Voxelite, and most notably, sunscreener.com. Let me introduce David in just a minute and first tell you about this cool product that boomers and those of us over age 55 will love because, well, we need it. We all know we need to avoid the harmful effects of the sun and using sunscreen products of at least uh, SPF 15 rating is highly encouraged. However, most of us don't put enough sunscreen on And often we're out in the sun without anyone else around to check out the sunscreen coverage we apply. The new product, Sunscreener from Voxelite, allows us to easily check sunscreen coverage using a smartphone. Sunscreener is actually an add-on for your Android phone with an iOS version on its way. Once connected to the phone, the special Sunscreener viewer and its technology allow you to cover your skin properly and protect from the sun's damage. There are a million cases of skin cancer per year in the U.S. alone, and sunscreen can significantly reduce your chances of getting cancer. Unfortunately, most people only apply 25 to 50 percent of the sunscreen they should, and that's where David Cohen and his product, Sunscreener, come in. I caught up with David Cohen, CEO of Voxelite and Sunscreener, at the Innovation Labs event recently. David's a great guy, and I enjoyed talking with him. David Cohen has a Ph.D., in biochemistry and his company, Voxelite, builds products that empower people in new ways. We're with David Cohen from Voxelite. Voxelite is doing some cool things and it's exciting to talk to you here at the AARP Innovation Labs. David, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. Great, great opportunity for us. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about what Voxelite is doing because I'm looking at, and we'll, we'll show some of these images uh, at the website and the blog posts, but but I, I'm looking at a, uh, a pair of individuals who are, one's black and white, one's in color, the same individual, and they're putting on what looks like to be some, uh, some, some cream on the face. Am I getting close? Yes, it's, <laughs> it's, it's regular sunscreen. What am I missing? Okay. And so one of the images is just a regular color camera, um, and you can see the cream going onto her face, uh, as we normally see with our eyes at the beach every day. Mm-hmm. If you're at the beach every day, um, <laughs> That'd be nice. the image on the right, though, is using our sunscreener product, and that is actually a special UV camera that doesn't see visible light; it only sees the wavelengths of light that sunscreen blocks. And so, what you can see on screen is, as sunscreen goes on, it looks like you're coating yourself in black paint, because that sunscreen's job is to stop ultraviolet light from getting to your skin, and whether it's chemical or mineral, it absorbs the light and it 
protects you from protects you from exposure to UV rays. So tell us a little bit about the con the, the consumer and the, the customer. I'm 61. Sure. Is this for me or is it for my 25 year old son? It's for everybody. You know, zero to 99, or even <laughs> okay. you know, if you can live past 99, great. <laughs> um, and really globally. So the sunscreen market is about 11 billion dollars globally. Only 1.6 billion here in the U.S. Mm. Uh, so this is something that affects everybody everywhere on the planet, no matter your skin tone. The darkest skin tone that you've ever seen is only equivalent to about an SPF 10 or 11. Mm -hmm. It really, everybody needs to do a good job protecting themselves from the sun. So when we were first chatting just in the, the opening, you mentioned that there's actually a camera. So yes. tell us a little bit about the product, the device itself, because I'm assuming that you are actually responsible. Voxelite is actually making the hardware. That's right. And the software. That's right. Which can be a complex undertaking, right? It certainly I, can I'm be. I'm not a technologist, but I know that much. Yep, certainly can be. So when my co-founder, John Myers, the guy who came up with this idea, I, really came you know, from watching his mother struggle with skin cancer over the years, um, and that was the genesis of the idea. He's a, a, not a tech guy. He brought the idea to me and said, is this doable? He knew about cameras that were you know, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 that could do this, but could it be done at a consumer price point? And so that's really the innovation that's inside of Sunscreener, and yes, so it's a special camera, not like the camera that's inside of your smartphone, which is an engineering miracle unto itself. Mm -hmm. So it's but an add-on almost. Really. It is an add-on. An accessory, you would it think is. maybe of it. Okay. That's exactly right. It's an accessory to your smartphone uh -huh. in, the, in this current version. Uh -huh. it plugs into your smartphone, mm -hmm. and it's a special camera that sees ultraviolet light. It sees light that your smartphone camera can't. Mm -hmm. And it works in concert with the Sunscreener app to show you the world in ultraviolet. Mm -hmm. And with that, you can actually see sunscreen, you can also see skin damage, um, and all kind of things that are previously invisible to the naked eye in the ultraviolet. It's fascinating. So will the camera, is, is the product available now? Can we it is, you can it order it today. It ships out of our warehouse in North Carolina. Irrespective of platform, I mean, uh, Android? Android is available today. Okay. iOS is coming yeah, in a few coming. months. Yep. Yes, good. it's mostly done and we're building up yep. inventory currently. Yeah, good. How's the business coming along? Everything good? So far great. So yeah. believe it or not, we weren't sure if this was going to be something that people wanted. <laughs> okay. So we started a couple years ago. Ignorance is bliss. Maybe. Uh, well, it, it's, it, we were surprised that nobody had done it before. Yeah. And so, you know, this is, you know, we filed patents and such because mm -hmm. it turned out that nobody had and nobody had really That's thought it. of it. Mm -hmm. We're the first to market with it. We started with a Kickstarter campaign, which is good to raise a little money, yeah. but also yeah. we looked at it as a way to assess whether Validate. consumers wanted it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so we started from there. We're invited onto Shark Tank. We've yeah. appeared on Shark Tank, hey, appeared fantastic. on the Discovery Channel by invitation oh, as great. well. Congrats. And so the worldwide media has really taken a, a strong interest in this product, and it really is something that clearly people want. So beginning B2C, direct yep. to consumer, yep. and moving out in different B2B opportunities as well, one of which is actually with a eyeglass lens manufacturer. Hmm. They have a new type of eyeglass lens that appears clear to the naked eye, mm -hmm. but provides superior UV protection, better than some sunglasses. Mm. And so as a way to sell those lenses and to sell um, the consumer on purchasing those, they've commissioned for us basically a UV tablet. So hmm. it has UV lighting built in. Okay. And we have one right here. Okay. And we're, we're here at your booth here at the Innovation Labs. And so, again, we'll get some screen grabs to share with the audience, but this is... Oh, there's a tablet in there. There's me looking good, David. I mean, that's not that's good. a picture I want to share with anybody. Well, so my, it's funny. My mother-in-law calls it the ugly mirror because... <laughs> I have some nasty looking teeth. Well, you're maybe be a zombie look. Uh, it, it can be. Yeah. Uh, often, sometimes with your teeth, if you've had any kind of dental work nowadays, it's not metal it's plastic yeah plastic absorbs uv light okay and so it appears dark <laughs> it does and regular dark. tooth enamel appears light huh. um, but also your skin damage goes up shows up yeah. as well as um how well your glasses protect okay so you can see me there oh yeah with You've dark got glasses almost, yeah that's really interesting yet they appear clear to the naked eye uh -huh. and then of course the stripe of sunscreen on my cheek there. i see that yes um that's awesome 
So this is a potential partner or is an ongoing partnership? Uh, this is a partnership. Good. We're looking Congrats. at fulfilling a 5,000 unit order for these UV tablets wow. in the next few months and building in-store displays as well. So this is important not just for sunscreen companies, but for any folks that are producing products that provide UV protection. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is a way to actually show it, to yeah. show it live. Yeah, so it helps. The picture is a... Zones. That is exactly, Wonderful. exactly. But it's also something you can carry in your pocket. So uh -huh. the sunscreener product is literally something, it's waterproof, it's ruggedized, mm -hmm. you can take it to the beach, plug it into your phone and you can see it right, right. there. So David Cohen, um, CEO of Voxelite? That's correct. Good. Yes. Um, thank you so much for your time. I just have Pleasure. one final question for you. Yes. What is it that you hope to accomplish here at uh, AARP's Innovation Labs Day? So it's a wonderful opportunity, you know, number one, to potentially build a partnership with AARP. 75% of new cases of skin cancer are folks 55 and older. So it's a, it's a significant you know, problem for, for older folks. Um, but then also, just the opportunity to chat with folks in the media like yourself to, to get the word out about yeah. Sunscreener and get the word out about you know, improving your UV protection. And where can we find out more information? Is it Voxelite? Is it Sunscreener? What's it's the... both. Voxelite okay. is our company yep. that we are commercializing the Sunscreener product. It's Sunscreener, sunscreen with an R, dot com. Okay. Um, and you can go find out more and order right on our website. We'll put up links about where we can uh, find Excellent. you. But yes. David Cohen, thanks so much for your time today. What a fascinating product. Thank you so Glad much. Glad to talk to you. We appreciate it. Oh, I guess one other um, yeah, little point. Yeah, we have uh, we have a uh, relationship with the Melanoma Research Foundation, so we're also committed to giving back and you know, hopefully eliminating skin cancer. One, by helping people protect themselves better, but then also improving treatment as well. And so, so for every, every purchase, yeah, go exactly, mm -hmm. every sunscreener sold, mm -hmm. we donate a dollar back to the Melanoma Research That's Foundation. That's wonderful. Good that so, you mentioned that. Thank you. Thank We're going to make sure to mention that too in the show notes. But thank you, thank David you. Cohen. What a pleasure. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for joining me and Mary Furlong and Associates for our recap of the recent AARP Innovation Labs It's Never Too Late to Start Up Business Pitch Competition. Stay tuned for the rest of our series, during which we interview each of the participants, including event winner, Embodied Lab CEO, Carrie Shaw. Check out each one. These are some cool new startups focused on aging. Thanks, everybody.